to understand Palo Alto architecture for traffic management. Palo Alto divide traffic in two plane, management plane and data plane functionality on both physical and virtual firewalls. This, this separation planes have dedicated network resources, CPU, RAM and storage, making them independent of each other. Control plane provides the management feature of firewall. Firewall configuration, login, reporting. Data plane provide signature matching, security processing and network processing. This separation means that heavy use of one plane will not adversely impact the other plane performance. For example, an admin could be running a very processor intensive report and get the ability to process packet would not be affected by reporting jobs because of separation of planes. Processing sequence, stages of packets, ingress stage. When packet hits to firewall ingress or internal interface, packets details for spoofing verifies. Plus Parameter of layer 2 headers, 802, 1.q tags, destination, MAC address, etc. Verification happens at the ingress stage. Firewall actually checks the given packet traffic, then matches to existing session or connection. This checks happens against with firewall internal state or session or connection table. <laughs> then if packet do not match against internal state table, then session setup process initiate. Now let's see what is in a session setup process. Number one, sole zone. Initially firewall checks from which zone the packet is arrived. For example, Palo Alto firewall setup is zone based. So the Palo Alto firewall are deployed on segmented network and use security zones to enhance security. By default, Palo Alto firewall provide the untrust, trust and DMZ zones. Untrust zone is used to connect external network. Trust zone is used to connect internal network and DMZ zone is for the purpose of doing DMZ where web servers and other uh, external accessible servers are deployed. Number two, zone and DOS protection. Zone protection or DOS protection checks happens if you have set up packet checks for zone protection or DOS protection. So this protection based on traffic threshold. If protection profile is set to prevent the Palo Alto firewall checks the specified traffic threshold and if there is a match then it discard the packet. Number three, forward lookups, policy based forwarding. In this stage the firewall determine what is packet forwarding path. If policy based forwarding configure then forwarding happens according to given interface setup like layer 2, layer 3, virtual wire, tap tunnel etc. Destination zone plus DNAT check. At this stage firewall checks where the packet is destined which verifies from checking what destination zone packet should destined for. Here the firewall also checks whether the packet having destination NAT configure and next step the security policy checks happens to check the net setup. Then security policy check. In this stage firewall check for destination net configuration against policy and allow and deny based on policy configuration. Then the firewall assign session ID based on all above checks and store these details to uh, store these details such as source IP, destination IP, source port, destination port protocols etc into the session table and proceed next stages 
and then the models which we have already discussed like inspection and enforcement comes over there you will see application identification content id security policy we already have seen all these things in a detail so this same thing happens on the packets right in addition whatever security profile you have set up as we have already discussed, antivirus, anti spyware, wildfire, file blocking, etc. Based on security enforcement, the packet forwarded to the TCP IP stack or destination, and then the things get processed. So, this is all about the Palo Alto single pass architecture and the packet processing. So guys, if you like my video, please subscribe my channel and comment me what next you want to see. Thanks for watching this video and have a wonderful day.